In our previous lectures, we understood different types of functions in asymptotic notations. We learned what are polynomial functions, what are logarithmic functions, what are constant functions and what are decrement functions. We learned that polynomial functions are asymptotically bigger than the logarithmic functions. Logarithmic functions are asymptotically bigger than the constant functions. And constant functions are asymptotically bigger than the decrement functions. Now, in this lecture, we will discuss the fifth type of function in asymptotic notations. And the name of this function is exponential function. This is the last type we are going to discuss. So, let's get started and let's see what are the topics. The first topic of this lecture is exponential functions. We will first understand what are exponential functions and then we will compare exponential functions with polynomial functions and finally we will give the conclusion about different types of functions in asymptotic notations. We will conclude the discussion of all the types of functions we discussed with the graph of all the functions. So, let's get started and let's understand what are exponential functions. An exponential function is a function whose growth rate increases rapidly. This is the definition of an exponential function. An exponential function is a function whose growth rate increases rapidly as the size of the input increases. Even for smaller sized inputs, the growth rate is quite large. Now, here are some examples of exponential functions. 2 to the power n, 3 to the power n, n factorial, n to the power n, a to the power n and so on. These are all exponential functions. I am assuming a is some constant. And usually an exponential function is constant to the power of n, which is opposite to the polynomial function, where we have n to the power of constant. These are all the exponential functions. And here is the graphical representation of an exponential function. This is the graph of the exponential function. As n approaches to infinity, this means as the size of the input approaches to infinity, the growth rate of this exponential function increases rapidly or drastically. Let us assume this is f of n. f of n, I am assuming, is equal to a to the power of n, where a is some constant. So, we learned what are exponential functions. Now, let's proceed and let's compare exponential functions with polynomial functions. The exponential function is asymptotically bigger than the polynomial function. But why is that the case? Let's understand this by solving a simple problem. Here is the problem. Let us assume that fn is equal to n square and gn is equal to 2 to the power n. This means fn is the polynomial function as it is equal to n to the power of 2, n square is the polynomial function and gn is the exponential function as it is some constant to the power of n. Therefore, fn is the polynomial function and gn is the exponential function. Is fn equal to big O of gn? Can we say that gn is asymptotically bigger than fn? Or in other words, is it true that the exponential function is asymptotically bigger than the polynomial function? According to the definition of big O notation, fn is equal to big O of g of n if and only if fn is less than or equal to c dot gn for all values of n where n is greater than or equal to n naught and c and n naught are constants. We know this definition quite well. fn is n square and gn is 2 to the power n. Let us assume that c is equal to 1. Therefore, fn less than or equal to c dot gn is equal to n square less than or equal to 2 to the power n. Is this true? 
can we say n square is less than or equal to 2 to the power n let's try to find out by drawing the table of n square and 2 to the power n here is the table let's plug in different values of n in these two let's say n is equal to 10 then 10 square is 100 and 2 to the power 10 is 1024 from this we can observe that c dot gn which is 2 to the power n is greater than fn which is n square even for the first value of n which is 10 we can observe that c dot gn is greater than fn but let's take bigger values of n let's take n as 20 20 to the power of 2 is 400 but what about 2 to the power 20 2 to the power 20 is 1048576 much larger value than 400 again c dot gn is greater than fn what if we take n as 30 30 to the power 2 is 900 but 2 to the power 30 is 1073741824 much much larger value than 900 clearly we can observe as the size of the input increases the growth rate of the exponential function increases rapidly and we can say that c dot gn is greater than fn and that too when n is greater than or equal to n naught where n naught is equal to 10 so clearly n square is less than or equal to 2 to the power n this inequality is true therefore gn is asymptotically bigger than fn hence we can say that the exponential function is asymptotically bigger than the polynomial function we just proved this statement with this problem now we are done with the comparison of the exponential function with the polynomial function let's conclude what we learned so far here is the final conclusion we know decrement functions are asymptotically less than the constant functions. Constant functions are asymptotically less than the logarithmic functions. Logarithmic functions are asymptotically less than the polynomial functions. And polynomial functions are asymptotically less than the exponential functions. This is the order of different functions. Now, here comes the graphical representation of these functions this is the graph i'm talking about in this graph we can observe the plots of different functions let's observe the growth rates of these different functions let's observe the growth rate of decrement function first this is the growth rate of the decrement function as n approaches to infinity we can observe that the growth rate of the decrement function decreases. It is asymptotically less than the other functions we are seeing here. Then comes the constant function. The growth rate of the constant function is constant. It does not change with the size of the input. So clearly as n approaches to infinity, the growth rate of the constant function is constant. But we can observe that the constant function is asymptotically bigger than the decrement function. What about logarithmic function? The growth rate of logarithmic function increases as the size of the input increases. Also, we can observe that logarithmic function is asymptotically bigger than the constant function. Then comes the polynomial function. This is the growth rate of the polynomial function. The growth rate of the polynomial function is polynomial as the size of the input increases and as it approaches to infinity. And we can observe that as n approaches to infinity, the growth rate of the polynomial function is bigger than the logarithmic function. Hence, 
polynomial functions are asymptotically bigger than the logarithmic functions. What about exponential function? The growth rate of the exponential function increases drastically as the size of the input approaches to infinity. And we can observe that the growth rate of the exponential function is much bigger than the growth rates of the other functions when n approaches to infinity. Therefore, we can conclude that exponential functions are asymptotically bigger than the polynomial functions. And this means exponential functions are asymptotically bigger than all these functions from polynomial functions to decrement functions. And I am using the word asymptotic to indicate that I am interested in the growth rate when n approaches to infinity. I am not interested in the growth rate of these functions when n is small. We can observe that when n is small, the growth rate of the decrement function is much larger than the growth rates of the other functions. And the growth rate of the exponential function for small size inputs is less than all the other functions. But as n approaches to infinity, the growth rate of the exponential function increases rapidly and it is much greater than the other functions. On the other hand, the growth rate of the decrement function decreases as n approaches to infinity and it has the slowest growth rate. So, one thing is clear that exponential functions are asymptotically bigger than polynomial functions. Polynomial functions are asymptotically bigger than logarithmic functions. Logarithmic functions are asymptotically bigger than constant functions. And constant functions are asymptotically bigger than the decrement functions. So, this is the final conclusion of different types of functions in asymptotic notations we discussed so far. So, with this, we are done with this topic also. And this means we are done with this lecture. Okay, friends. This is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.